Can you blow bubble? Blowing bubble. Natalie, can you tell us about this learning experience? So preschoolers love nothing more than role play and it really works with their communication, their imagination and obviously team player, you know, sharing with friends and siblings. So what this is, it showcases being at home, having a bath and looking after our babies or looking after themselves. So they can get to choose their flannels, they can dispense some um, soapy water, wash the babies, make sure they're all lovely and clean and they can also play with the jugs and then they can dry the babies afterwards, get them dressed and obviously feed them, um, which then um, is safety for the babies. Exactly, and it's a reminder to parents, I think, to make sure that they're not leaving children unattended in the bath. That's right. And pull the plug immediately after use. I think for this age group as well, probably storing that plug high up out of reach because of course children of this age are capable of putting the plug in the bath, turning the tap on and off as well. So they may inadvertently fill that bathtub up without the parent knowing. That's right. And I'd also, it's a really good opportunity for parents to um, ensure that other children aren't left alone looking after their little brothers or sisters as well. Exactly. Reach up high and catch the bubble. Let's count them right up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, almost. There they are, little bubbly things. They're flying, but where are they? At home, bathtubs and the backyard swimming pool are the two major places where young children drown. Pull the plug in the bath. Empty anything that contains water out in the backyard because Young children have drowned even in dog bowls, water in dog bowls. Be super vigilant and empty any water that's in any vessel. They're floating around.